In my previous video, I talked about my low buy challenge and why I make a conscious decision to do it every year. As I have mentioned, I like to live my life intentionally and to purchase only things that add value and meaning to my life. Some people ask me if I feel deprived, not buying what I want. But the truth is that one only feels deprived if there is no contentment in his or her life. So in my case, no, I don't feel deprived at all because I have all my basic needs covered and I'm content with what I have. I also feel happy and I don't feel that there is a void that needs to be filled by non-essential things. In case you're new to this channel, let me share with you what I like to talk about here. I like to share how I live simply and minimally and why I choose to live a slower pace of life. From time to time, I also like to share some plant-based recipes and some nature scenes from where I live and where we travel. And I also like to share my personal journey to simplifying my life. So if these topics resonate with you, I hope you'd consider subscribing to my channel and click that bell so you get notified every time I post a new video, which is every Saturday. I like to regularly make an inventory of the things that I own and buy to make sure that everything I have adds value and meaning to my life. I also want to make sure that they're safe for my health the environment, and that they fit my budget. A couple of months ago, I shared seven things that I stopped buying, and that list has been growing. That's why I decided to make a part two of that video by sharing 15 more things that I stopped buying. Some of them I make myself using eco-friendly materials, and some of them are healthier, and more eco-friendly and more budget-friendly alternatives to the things that I have been using in the past. This all-natural and homemade hand soap is made up of only three ingredients. Liquid Castile soap with tea tree oil, fractionated coconut oil, water, and optional is lavender essential oil. It's antibacterial, moisturizing, and safe for the environment too. I used to buy cheap dish soaps that contain harmful and harsh chemicals to the environment and also to my health. Although there are eco-friendly dish soaps available at the store, I find them to be quite expensive. So I made my own dish soap using only three ingredients. I prefer to use Castile soap with tea tree oil because of its antibacterial properties. Plus, this one I use in particular contains biodegradable, all-natural, and cruelty-free ingredients, so I feel good about using it. Quick, simple, and effective natural all-purpose cleaner that I make only uses three ingredients, white vinegar, lemon rind, and water. It's effective in removing hard water stains while disinfecting at the same time. I use it on the countertop and floor tiles to keep them clean naturally. A bottle of Castile soap goes a long way. I also use it to make body wash such as this one, which is moisturizing and antibacterial at the same time. I use coconut oil because it's widely available and cheaper here in Thailand. But if you use it to make this body wash, be sure to use fractionated coconut oil so it won't clog up your drain. I stopped buying flour at the store and have been making it myself using rolled oats. A 400 gram bag of rolled oats costs $1.50 and I use it to make cakes. And speaking of cakes, I have also been making them myself using very simple and natural ingredients. I make granola using five ingredients rolled oats, 3 tablespoons of cocoa powder, coconut oil, and coconut nectar syrup. I just need to add milk to it. And speaking of milk, I also make soy milk or oat milk instead of buying them at the store. They are cheaper to make and quick and easy. I can also make them fresh from my recipes such as matcha latte, breakfast granola, or 
other recipes. A 400 gram bottle of mango jam that I make only requires two large ripe mangoes, an apple, and lemon juice, and it's super easy and I don't have to add more sugar. I also make my own hummus using chickpeas, tahini, olive oil, lemon juice, cumin, salt, and pepper. It's more economical, healthy, and tasty too. I used to buy vegan butter at the store and it's just so expensive and I'm not really crazy about the ingredients there. So I've been making my own using only five ingredients such as coconut oil, coconut cream, olive oil, salt, and some lemon juice. It's so quick to make and easy. I stopped buying from big clothes brands about five years ago and have been purchasing from thrift stores and charity shops instead. I also make my own cardigans such as this one. I don't even remember the time I bought a bag, maybe 10 years ago. But ever since I learned how to crochet, I have been making my own bags such as this purse and shoulder bag that also serves as a shopping bag. I like to make my own gifts for loved ones such as a sweater for my partner, a hat for my son, and several other crocheted items and hand-painted cards for my family and friends. I've been using fractionated coconut oil for my skin as a natural moisturizer and for acne and for occasional acne treatment, I use bentonite clay. I believe that we all have a moral responsibility towards the planet and other creatures that we share this world with. I am not perfect and there are still so many areas in my life that are a work in progress. But I enjoy sharing with you what I've been doing, what's working for me, and why I do the things I do. And in that same note, let me share with you this beautiful passage from Thich Nhat Hanh which continuously inspire me to care for the planet in every little way that I can. The earth is our mother, nourishing and protecting us in every moment, giving us air to breathe, fresh water to drink, food to eat, and healing herbs to cure us when we are sick. When you realize the earth is so much more than simply your environment, you'll be moved to protect her in the same way as you would yourself. This is the kind of awareness, the kind of awakening that we need. And the future of the planet depends on whether we're able to cultivate this insight or not. The earth and all species on earth are in real danger. Yet, if we can develop a deep relationship with the earth, will have enough love, strength, and awakening in order to change our way of life. Thank you for watching this video and I hope it added value to your day or night. And I'll see you again next Saturday.